Hey guys, I want to show you my uh, 1995 Camaro Z28 LT1. Uh, I've had it for, I guess, going on three years now. And I've been through a lot of problems and headaches with this car. Still needs a lot of love, needs a paint job. But what I wanted to get right first was the, uh, the motor transmission. I had problems with the shifter, the cable that is. You know, it still needs a lot of work. I got it like this from a little old lady. She was in her 70s. And she had this car for about 10 years approximately. And uh, she never took care of the paint. She bought these wheels for it to replace the originals. I wish she would have kept the originals. I guess these are okay, but these are dated now. So I need new ones. So if anybody's selling any out there, let me know. I'm going to replace the, uh, the tail lights. With the LT1 original tail lights, I do have them. I know people don't like them much, but I've already had one broken when they were trying to steal it. They tried to get into the, the hood, the back of the car, and uh, they messed up my latch. So, anyways, this is the front of it, the side. When I got it, it was all trashed out inside. Um, she had newspapers everywhere and she just, you know, kept it like a little storage. I changed out the radio and I cleaned it up. I had to put a seat cover on right here because it was torn up, you know, from the side here like most Camaros are. And uh, I have one tear in the front there. Other than that, she she did put a, a cover here. So I need to replace that. It's a little torn on the back there, but everything else is pretty good leather seats a lot of people complain about this interior but I mean hey the kiss method man keep it simple stupid you know I like it that's all this is leather or pleather whatever I don't know what it is but it works for me as far as the motor like I said it's the LT1 a lot of people knock this motor and it has given me a little bit of problems uh, mainly that part right there uh, it's made out of aluminum so when it you know when it, when it broke it was hell to get one because everybody wants to sell you the whole engine the whole motor this is all original let me tell you what I like about the LT1 what I like about it is that there's few and few and fewer left which is gonna make the original LT1 untouched worth more money I say I think it will in my opinion because uh, everyone's taking these engines out and swapping them with the uh, the LS motors I get it I understand that that they want to swap them out to the LS they're faster they're better aluminum instead of an iron block I get it but you know what man as the, you know you're taking money out of it it's not original anymore and uh, only the 95s, 93, 94, 95, I forget what are the years, have the LT1. And the rest have the LS, LS1, LS2, LS3. So those you can get dime a dozen. And truth be told, I can find an LS motor pretty much anywhere right away. It's hard to find an LT motor, an LT1 motor. And with all the, uh, well, all the trimmings, as they say. So... Um, I'm in love with this car. I've had it. This is my 10th one. I've never had a 4th gen. I've had the 3rds. I've had the, pretty much the 3rd gens and I had one second generation one. But um, this is the first time I have this type of car. It's a little bit messy right now, but it cleans up real nice. I take everything out. You can see how clean it is. It's pretty clean. This tent is, is awesome. When I got the car, it had a crappy tent on there. It took me a month to get it off because if I took it to the place where they did the window tent, they wanted to charge me an arm and a leg to take it off. And really all I needed was a you know, heat gun with some steam. And that was that. But other than that, I mean, it's in pretty good shape. Um, I know a lot of guys don't like this type of car. But out of all the Camaros, what I read and what I've seen, this one is the most aerodynamic. 
the way it's built and everything. And you know, you got the, the newer ones that, that have that weird nose. I like this right here. I know a lot of you guys are like, oh man, it doesn't have that crappy third gen looking headlights. You know what? I like these, man. Look how mean they look. They look like they're staring down at you, man. These newer ones that are covered, to me, they look like the Monte Carlos. You remember the 80s Monte Carlos? I mean, you see a Camaro coming down the road and you see a Monte Carlo, they look like the same. I don't want people confusing my car for a Monte Carlo. Come on. I like these better. And so, I mean, everyone has their preference, I guess. But um, I like this one better. And the other thing is, I mean, I see a lot of videos out there, man. Oh, man, this car's a six-cylinder. I got a six. I got a six. Man, if you don't have an eight, I, I just don't like them. It's not, it's not a sports car. You know, it's not a sports car. It's like a Ferrari with a damn Volkswagen engine. What the hell? You guys are proud of these V6s. Why? 230 horsepower? No. These LT1s, when they first came out, man, it was a shit. And uh, I love it. All right, you haters. Let me know what you think. Have a good one.